As people pack the beach, many might be wondering if a popular area of the beach is open. Chris 6 News reporter Chelsea Torres tells us how Bob Hall Pier is holding up this Labor Day weekend. It's the first big holiday since Hurricane Hannah and what used to be a popular tourist spot is now empty and damaged. For all of us, it's, you know, it's a big part of a lot of people's life. Like Judge Canales says, you know, it's it's a, you know, it's a historic landmark. Bob Hall Pier has been closed since Hurricane Hannah destroyed it. Since then, the county is awaiting results from a disaster and debris management contractor to finish assessing damages. Remove the concrete panels for them to inspect the cap and beam connections uh, on the pier so they can finish their inspection and then determine whether the pier is a rebuild or it's a repair. Scott Cross, director of Coastal Park, says reports of costs for the pier are false. He says they hope to have an answer about repairs or rebuilding soon. We wanted another 30 days to get all of our damage assessment done and make sure it's all accurate. And so next two or three weeks, maybe even sooner. Debris removal around the pier has already begun and on Tuesday, the parking lot asphalt will be removed. While the pier is closed, Cross says the county is at a huge loss. Losing that pier like it is, it's losing about $600,000 in revenue a year. It's a big deal. It's a big staple for this community as far as tourist money. And, you know, because people come down here to go to it. Bob Hall Pier will remain closed until further notice, but plans opening up this area are already underway, starting with the parking lot, hoping to clear this out first so people can have access to the beach. Reporting from Padre Bayou Park, Chelsea Torres, Chris 6 News. All right, Chelsea, thank you so much.